So, um, that kitty right there is Camus. That is Charlie. And this is Triggy. I went and got Camus today. Um, just now, actually. And he hasn't been to my house. Well, I take that back. My, my sisters brought him over for like 15 minutes, but um, I think he's going to stay overnight this time. So, you guys might be wondering why I have him. It's because I'm obsessed with him. And um, my mom, as a birthday present every year, allows me to take him for a couple of nights. <laughs> so, um, here he is. Charlie's not thrilled, obviously. Um, Camus is going to leave the mark, his mark on their territory. I'm not sure Triggy still really even knows what's going on, but, um, I brought Camus over and Charlie and Trigg always wait at the door for me. And they, um, I picked up Camus so that he wouldn't be bombarded when they, um, <laughs> when he opened the door, but he's letting off something. They're both way interested. I do get kind of nervous um, when he comes over just because I don't want them to, like, be bullies to him. Chiggy! Chiggy, who smells you when you pee? Jeez. Noose, phenomenal job covering right there. Yep. <laughs> Camus and Murphy are, like, the dirtiest litter box cats. And Rags was so clean, and my mom... <laughs> I can't figure it out. Where did I go wrong? Charlie and Trigg are good litter box cats, though. I think Camus really likes the attention right now. Are you guys going to be nice? You'll be nice. We don't like to cause Camus problems. Oh, Camus, I like that butt smell. <laughs> If you guys gang up on him, that's it. We're not doing it. Thanks. Camus has such a good energy about him. That's the only thing that ma makes me not worried about it. Where he's like, oh, God, they must follow me. Smell my butt, but that's it. There's a video on YouTube of these three cats um, in this hallway. Camus is in the same position um, he is now. Bubby, be nice. <laughs> Camus is not pleased right now with um, their curiosity of him. They haven't really been with him for a month or so. <laughs> and Camus is getting a little sick of being smelled every five seconds. I think he wants to be left alone. Let's go see what he's doing. News, what'd you find in there? What'd you find? Did that cabinet open? What are you gonna go be finding? Charlie, you gotta give him some personal space. Jeez. Can't, I've got that um, aloe vera plant over there and Camus was freaked out by it when he first came up here. <laughs> He's like, what is that? I bring it in in the, um, the winter and then take it back out in the summer. It's been a happy guy this winter too. Camus is biting on the aloe, like, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you biting the nuts? Oh, that's the yummies. <laughs> I adore Camus. Oh man, do I adore that cat. Camus, you like a piece of heaven delivered from angels. It's funny because he's been here for maybe like three or four hours now, but um, I haven't been videotaping because I like spending time with him so much that I don't want to um, spend time videotaping. <laughs> Charlie man, leave that poor kitty alone. Sarlemagne. Sarlemagne. So, Camus, <clears throat> this is my master closet and Camus always um, wants to go into this attic crawl space. I'll, I'll show it to you. I gotta get 
Bob, I know it's mean, but I'm gonna lock you out. <laughs> I know it's mean. <laughs> I and by the way, I was thinking about that today. That um, <clears throat> when I use my foot in a video to shoo um, Charlie away, I do not normally touch my cats like that. I normally noose. Hold on, let me make sure there's nothing on the other side of this. I know. Hold on, maybe. Um. Okay, we're good, I think. I would not normally kick my cat. <laughs> and it's, I don't think it's kicking per se, but I would not normally um, use my foot. I would pick him up and move him, but since I always have a camera in hand, that's why I do that. So this is a tiny little cr crawl space. I mean, it's as you can see part of the roof and um, that back there I have a big black duffel bag but it goes all the way back and when I first got this house Rags was alive and um, he <laughs> where are you going where are you going he took back he took off back there and was gone for an hour and it's just insulation it's not boards and all that stuff like like it is right here I'm gonna lift this up real fast it scared the holy living daylights out of me because I thought he was gonna fall through the insulation and he's old cat and I didn't want him in the insulation and I, I didn't even mean to let him back there of course I didn't know what was back there um <laughs> can't matter so I can't turn okay so now Camus is moving under clothes and all that kind of stuff this bed right here, I got, um, it, it's actually, um, those memory foam mattresses, and this is a sample that they usually have at Costco, and I talked to the, one of the managers at Costco and let him ha let me have that for rags, and then this is the same company, and this is their, um, pillow that they make, and rags laid on this a lot, but... I can't really get either of the cats to lay on it anymore. Okay, now it's much later. I think it's around midnight. And Trig and Charlie go everywhere Camus goes. <laughs> I feel like Camus is five years older. Um, sorry, the lighting is horrible, but I only have one side lamp in here. Um, Camus is five years older, and I feel like he is the big brother. Um, if you were raised in a family of multiples like I was, you know, if um, a friend of the older person came over, you wanted to be with them because they were cool because they were older. Um, that's how I feel. <laughs> I mean, even if Camus was younger, these two would probably be following him around. I mean, look at it. He cannot catch a break. Kenu, you want some whole life? Are you ready to eat yet? I know. Um, Camus is hesitant to eat sometimes. Ooh, this might give us a good tail comparison. Do you remember to me <laughs> if Charlie doesn't go right for Camus' butthole? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, well, you can see that it's longer, but I was trying to show you how much longer. I'm also not used to them walking all through the house. Noose, did you want to go out in the garage again? Camus loves to go in the garage. <laughs> Trig, what are you, are you going to be nice? Thank you. Chimney Christmas. I'm working in there. That's why there's computers and mess. Bub, what are you doing? I've been messing around with floppycats.com, the new site. If you guys haven't had a chance to go check out the new site, um, I suggest that you do. It launched today, and today is February 23rd, um, 2013. I'm really excited about it. It's a lot more organized and um, a little bit hipper, a little bit more up to date than it used to be. So. Let me know what you think about it.
This is what they, I mean, Charlie and Trig don't act like this. They're usually Trig's passed out in the kitchen at nighttime and Charlie is passed out in here with me. Um, or he goes upstairs and lays down on the bed early if he wants to. But because of Camus, they, um, I love how mellow Camus is. Um, they are being very um, inquisitive and in, interested in everything. What do you think, Nusi? Do you think you'd be ready to eat something? Oh, I don't know if I finished that um, statement earlier. Is that Camus usually doesn't like to eat um, over here until he's kind of kind of feels like he's back into the swing of things. Now, when I bring him o over here on a regular basis, um, he eats immediately. But when we've taken a long pause like this is when he takes a while to want to eat. Good good new. He's a little bit mad. Camus doesn't swish his tail like that very often. Good good new. <laughs> you heard the two little followers coming. <laughs> you guys are like followers. <laughs> it reminds me of when I would have friends over and I'd be like, you don't have to follow me to every room. I'll be right back. <laughs> so, um, Camus, I think is feeling comfortable enough to eat treats, which is a good sign. No, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I should move out of his space. Oh, so sweet. Nope, Nusi. Don't want to. <laughs> Trig wants so badly to have a friend to play with. And, um... Charlie... <laughs> I didn't think it would work. Darn it. Charlie, um tries to play with Trig, but he's just not much of a player, and Trig is total little, um, like a small child that could constantly play. So he and Murphy are a better match than he and Camus. <laughs>